All right, so let me jump to the course and explain the structure a little bit and then take you through each week. So the course is structured in 11 weeks. Uh, we're in the first week, so I'm just explaining what the course is all about. Um, we then have 10 more weeks from really just getting started, finding your way around R, getting data into R, then to manipulating data, moving on to producing tables and figures, then later in week eight, producing beautiful maps, and then later learning about how to report all your analysis um, to others using uh, Word or PDF or HTML files, and also um, being mindful of making your analysis reproducible in case you're working with teams, you're working with others, that's something that's increasingly important to uh, share your code with others and let them double check it and, and reproduce it. So this way, workflow also is very important. How do you organize your work with R in a larger project, possibly working in a team? Lastly, I'll provide you with some shortcuts in week 10 and how to speed up your analysis a little bit, how to write efficient code. And then lastly, there'll be a mock exam that you can take where you can test your skills that you've acquired throughout the course. Now, each week is basically structured in different segments. First, I start off talking a little bit about concepts, some just some basic concepts you need to wrap your head around what we'll cover in each session. And then the second block is just uh, applying those concepts in R directly. Lastly, at the end of every session, there are exercises that we put together for you where you can then um, explore the data that we provide to you and then practice the skills that I have um, introduced. Now, for each session, I'll record a video tutorial that you can watch. You can also work through the site by yourself at your own pace. Everything is publicly available and available online. Um, the data is made available as well. So um, you can do this on your own time and your own speed and go through it. All right, so just as an example, I jumped to week six here on graphics just to explain how one week is set up. First, we define the objectives of the course early on. Then we introduce the basic commands that are covered in that, in that course. And then we introduce concepts, right? And this, in this week on graphics, for example, we, we provide some guidance on how to choose a chart, um, how to think about what you want to show uh, to your audience, right? And also broadening the horizon on what different types of charts are out there and, and, and what R can do. So then we introduce the concepts of how to do graphics in R more generally and, and provide sort of the general commands. And then we go step by step, actually showing how to produce a simple bar graph, histogram, uh, box plot, um, other stacked and group bar charts, and then lastly, refining them a little bit more. And in additional weeks, you will learn how to do way fancier graphics and, and, and prettier graphics. But in week um, six, this is, this is sort of the introduction to graphics. So at the end, as I've mentioned, we have some exercises for you to do based on the data we provide to you um, and to test your skills. But also, and this is very important, we provide some exercises that you can do based on your own data set. We really recommend um, identifying a data set that you care about very early because it's going to keep you motivated throughout this course, right? Um, ideally, you have a work project or a project in university, some data set that you have where you can directly apply the skills that you've learned in class. Um, lastly, uh, we'll provide some more resources each week if you want to go deeper into a subject, right? If you have issues with your own data set that, you know, didn't come up in class, which is very likely, then, um, you know, we provide some pointers there where you can go to find out more. Um, and as I said earlier as well, you can always go online and connect with our community. Uh, whatever issue you're facing, there will be somebody out there that has already solved it and provided the answer online. So how much time do you need to set aside to do this course? If you do follow the weekly structure, I would say, uh, you know, follow just the instruction would take roughly half an hour, maybe 45 minutes then um, doing the exercises each week based on the data that we deal with in the class probably takes you up to an hour um, or so, depending on your skills. Um, if you then apply the additional exercises to your own data set, that, that might be an additional hour. So I think we're looking at around minimum three hours, but you know, if you do go back and rewatch some of the instruction, if you face some difficulties with your own data sets and so forth, it can, it can easily be more than that. So I would say anywhere between three to six hours a week uh, is probably realistic. 
All right, with that, I hope I was able to give you a good overview of the course and set some expectations and, and help you decide whether you want to invest the time into to learning R. Um, I think it's important to say that often from afar, these things look way more complicated than they actually are. Um, data analysis, programming, uh, statistics. Once you, once you had an introduction to them, they're often way more simple than, than they seem. So I hope to encourage some of you to, to get into that uh, and explore, even if you decide not to take up data analysis in the future. I think for anyone, it's really useful to have some basic data analysis skills because we're being constantly bombarded around us with evidence and new studies and, and data visuals wherever we go. So some knowledge on how this is put together, I think is useful for everyone. So if you do decide to take the course, I'll see you in future videos and I hope you enjoy it.